Aloha guys, Scuba Chris. During this season, um, people want to get rid of a lot of extra gear from the garages. So I went around today, went to a garage sale, picked up some good deals, right? I picked up a, a couple of nitro rods. That These are in pretty good condition. These are the uh, nitro surf graphites, okay? Got two pretty near mint condition. These go for like maybe $120, $130. And I got these for $10 each. Good stats. These are really good for uh, shoreline dunking, which we call surf casting here in Hawaii. Now, when you buy used equipment, I was kind of impressed with this one because it still had stickers on them. But even then, you, you check your guides. Make sure that the base of the guides are not cracked or corroded and that the inserts are inside. Feel them. Make sure they're smooth, okay? Ferrules look good. And so I got two of them. So what you do is you put them together, look down the middle, make sure all the guides line up, all right? Make sure that all your guides, that the bases are there, no corrosion. Make sure all your inserts are there. You feel them around. Make sure they're okay. Main thing is your tip. Make sure there's no corrosion on the tip and the tip looks cherry like this one does. Because what happens when there's corrosion on the tip, and especially if you don't have any inserts in them, your line will um, hit that and it'll it just get threaded and cut across it. That's the one of the worst things about used rods. I, I kind of went pretty good with this because the guy just came here from the mainland, mainland Alaska, and he was a big time fisherman up there and I was able to get um, some pretty good deals. I got these two nitros off of him, 12 footers, and they look pretty good. And one of the things I'm gonna do today uh, besides inspecting them, I'm just going to clean them up. I'm just going to shoot them down with a cleaner. And let me show you. I'm just going to clean off the, just some of the smudges, whatever else is on them. And um, the, the other thing I'm going to do is right over here on your wheel seat. I'm just going to hit that with a little bit of, just a little WD-40 right in here. Like so, just see like that. Just go back and forth, just working in. And that's all you really have to do. These rods really don't need much. They're, they're brand new. I mean, for $10 each, who wouldn't take these, right? Thank you. Okay, I just used some multi-purpose cleaner. Clean them all up. Man, these things look brand spanking new. I mean, for $10 each, you really can't go wrong. And the last bit I want to add to this is spray a little WD-40 on the ferrules. There you go. And just lightly wipe off some of the excess, bring it up and down, that's it. I already got in contact with Daiwa Corporation. I asked them, can we use uh, WD-40 on the ferrules so they won't lock up? They said no problem. The um, active ingredients of WD-40 will not hurt the finish on the rods. So that's what I've been using. Works really good. Even though I got two nitros, $10 each, $130 rods, good deal, right? They're practically brand new. And when I cleaned them up, all the dust and the little grease stains here that came off, and they were brand new. They still had the price tags on them. My score for today, this is beautiful nitro in a bag. This had a price tag on it from, I don't know. The guy said that he had this for like 20 years, never used it from Alaska. Oh, this is the score for today. It's a brand new rod. Never hit water yet. This is a 12 footer for spin casting and whipping. Very popular here in Hawaii. 
still has an old, old price tag on it for like, what is it? $103.99. I did some checking today. The few people I checked with didn't even want to answer my questions. They wanted this raw. They couldn't believe I actually got this in mint, brand new condition. Look at that. This is a score. But you know, I got a rod comparable to this. I got the Akuma Hawaiian Custom with the um, abalone inlays. I got uh, uh, some Akuma, other Akumas. I got, a, oh man, I got too many rods. So I gave uh, my friend Art Takamiya a call, who is a local angler here in Hawaii. Um, he also makes his own flies now called Taka Flies. I gave him the stats on this. He wants it. So I'm just gonna, I bought this for 50 because I saw the price tag on it. It said a little over 100. So I told the guy, give, you, give it to you 50. He said that was more than fair. Man, <laughs> this thing is just not around nowadays. So I, I'm, this is my Christmas present to him. I just told him, give me my money back and hopefully we meet this evening. But hey, going around buying used gear, you do get rewarded sometimes. It's, most of the time, 90% of the time, you're just gonna see really old stuff that's corroded and not worth your time. Today, I actually saw a lot of Pen 4.0s, 6.0s. I saw a uh, new uh, converted New Weld um, and some other stuff that actually didn't look too bad. But, you know, it's not always like that, but I just wanted to show this, just to show you that once in a great while, it does pay to shop around. Thank you.